I'm Leela Feinstein, live at Staples Center in downtown LA. Well, we've been talking about it for days. The sports smorgasbord here and the ensuing traffic nightmare. I'm gonna let you know how you can get around all that traffic coming up in a live report. I'm Micah Ullman with you here at 6.30. All three of Staples Center's major tenants chasing championships, as you know. And with a Laker playoff game tonight, then two more each on Saturday and Sunday featuring the Lakers, the Clippers, and Hockey's Kings getting around the downtown area is shaping up to be quite a traffic nightmare. KTLA's Leela Feinstein live there now with congestion suggestions on a huge weekend. Leela. Oh, huge indeed, Micah. And you know, there's so much excitement out here at Staples. And if you want to get here and be a part of all this excitement, well, authorities are warning you, you're going to have to deal with a lot of street closures and a whole lot of crazy traffic. We found Gary and LaShawn here a good four hours before tip-off today, driving around Staples Center looking for affordable parking. Baby Faith in the back seat wasn't enjoying it at all. I think she's crying about the cost of parking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it costs yeah, too much. Like, can we get some free parking? In fact, the closer you get to Staples and the closer to game time, the price for parking grows. 15, 20, 25, even 30 bucks just to park for a few hours. Supply and demand. Like, we know you're going to have to park, so I'm going to charge you extra. If it was 50, they'd probably still be making money. Some people call it price gouging, but it's perfectly legal. How much is, does it cost to park here? Depends. Like, sometimes 25, 20, 10, 15, depends. Police say they can't control the high prices. The parking lots are not regulated. What they can control, though, is people parking illegally. So if you are planning on driving, watch out for all the parking attendants. They'll be out in full force. Also, keep in mind the street closures that'll go into effect after the Lakers game Saturday night. Figueroa Avenue from Pico to Olympic will be closed. Also, Chick Hearn Court, 11th Street from Flower Avenue to Georgia Street. So definitely the best way to beat all the traffic, public transportation. It was cheaper than parking and it was more convenient. Paul Morris is taking the Metro is a no-brainer. The red, purple, blue and Expo lines all stop near Staples. And Paul says it's a great way to avoid all the traffic and enjoy all the games. Yeah, it's a little downfall right now, but I mean, so hopefully in the parade, we'll be parading in a few. Then we'll worry about that traffic. <laughs> All right, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've still got to win a few games here and, oh, yeah, get through all this traffic just to get here. Reporting live in downtown Los Angeles, I'm Leela Feinstein, KTLA 5 News. Get out while you can. Leela, thank you.